News conference with the Romanian president today. The president denied ever asking Director Comey for loyalty oath, said he'd be willing to swear that under oath. Would you be willing to speak under oath to uh, give your version of, of 100%. events? 100%. So if Robert Mueller wanted to speak with you about that, you I would, would be, be glad to, to, to tell him exactly what I just told you. Meanwhile, the former FBI director's testimony was hardly the impeachment trigger Democrats are hoping for, but they still tried to spin it to their advantage, of course, all day. I found it uh, quite stunning. Uh, it's not every day you have a former director of the FBI saying that he couldn't trust the president. I think Comey came across as an honest man under oath against a president who really doesn't focus much attention on telling the truth. The president demanded loyalty. He wanted the case against his friend Michael Flynn to go away and that he obsessively hounded the FBI director. I think we saw a confirmation uh, in uh, Director Comey's resolute testimony detailing the frightening reality of President Trump's pattern of contempt for justice. Damn. Don Calloway is a Democratic strategist and a former Missouri state representative. He joins us tonight. Don, thanks for coming on. Anytime. Thank you for having me. So this is from the book Shattered, written by a couple of political reporters, not Ray Wingers, and sure. it describes the Hillary campaign and its aftermath. And it says here, that strategy had already been set within 24 hours of Hillary's concession speech. Mook and Podesta, who ran the campaign, mm -hmm. assembled her communications team at the Brooklyn headquarters to engineer the case that the election was not entirely on the up and up. Already, the Russian hacking was the centerpiece of the argument. Yeah. So this was a strategy devised in the ashes of the Clinton campaign to delegitimize Trump. And it's been far more, I think, effective than anyone would ever have predicted. Politics aside, it should matter. It should matter to everybody. What we know, and as confirmed by 22 different independent intelligence agencies in this country, as confirmed by Director Comey yesterday under oath, is that the Russians interfered in our election process. And that interference inured to the benefit of now President Donald Trump. What we don't know is whether or not there was collusion. I'm willing to say that based upon the evidence we have out there right now, there was no collusion. But the fact that Russia intruded into our invest election process for the most important election we have every four years should be troubling to everyone. Right. And nobody's saying it didn't happen. Actually, I'm saying it didn't happen. I'm oh, saying well, it I didn't happen in a meaningful way. First, I'm saying there are not 22 intelligence agencies in this country. There are 17, and that includes the Coast Guard. Completely. Second, I'm saying that not one person who has ever made that allegation to me <laughs> has explained how they affected the outcome at all. So and therefore, they the didn't question. hack the election. They didn't alter no. the election. The whole thing is a hoax. We know that it was hacked. And Director Comey, yes, Director Comey yesterday said that there was no doubt whatsoever in front of the Senate well, that, that it was mean? hacked. We don't know what the effect is. I'm willing to give you that. We don't know whether we happened? don't know whether or not people voted for Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton because of the hacking. What we do know is that there was hacking, and that hacking involved exposing DNC secret emails, internal workings of the Democratic Party. We don't know As that. We do know that, Tucker. It's not. That, that's that, not up for debate. Actually, not only is it up for debate. Like, the first of all, everything debate. is up for debate Fair because enough. nothing is settled. The, but the here's why it's up for debate. debate. No, no, it's not. not it what happens, you have is not. a lot of mindless people who don't know any details, nodding in unison, oh, yes, just like on a, a host of other subjects in Washington. But the truth is, if you go and look at the details, the DNC servers were never examined by the U.S. government, by the FBI, because the Clinton people wouldn't allow that. And so, actually, it is an open question. There is, by, by the way, no evidence at all you that say any open, Russian hacked all, John Podesta's all email. We, can say, we yes, don't know that. All we can say, Tucker, is that you say that hacking didn't happen or we don't know whether or not hacking happened but the director of the no. FBI the director That's of the FBI yesterday under oath said that hacking happened and that there was no doubt nobody debates that it happened Senator who Burr. did it is the question no, and said, if you talk no, to any no, no, they there, don't there know is, that and they well, don't say that they Senator know that because Burr they don't yesterday asked director Comey and he said I have no doubt that Russia interfered with our election process but and what you can say that, what does that again, so mean so nobody two wants questions. to get into details so, right, because so, they don't know the answer so there's two different questions Tucker the questions are did it happen? And I think that that has been decided it by the, you are correct, the 17, not 22, forgive me. But did that happen? And what the effect does, I'm willing to give you, Tucker, in an act of bipartisanship, I'm willing to give you it's that not, we don't know the effect, it's, but we know it happened. We don't know the details, actually. And it's Let's not be, a meaningful claim unless we can explain exactly what the claim the means. The that is true is, in all cases. It happened. We don't know the effect, okay. but we know it happened. You, you can repeat it as much as you want, but it's <laughs> meaningless unless it is accompanied by details and it's not. So let me just ask you this question. The Attorney General of the United States, Jeff Sessions, mm -hmm. is loathed by the left. They disagree with them. I, by the way, think that's legitimate. If you don't agree, that's fine. But they are now trying to take him out of commission, to a great extent that he has been, on the grounds that he's somehow collaborating with the Russians. And Comey, to his eternal discredit and shame, suggested that obliquely in a cowardly, disgusting way on the floor of the Senate yesterday, without explaining what he meant. And I'm asking a really simple question. Mm -hmm. This guy, the Attorney General, brushed elbows with the Russian ambassador. 
Does that make him a collaborator with the Russian government? What we know is that at least two times last summer during the course of his work as an advocate and a surrogate, surrogate for the Trump campaign is that uh, then Senator, now Attorney General uh, Sessions met with Russian individuals, met one of them probably being the Russian ambassador. What we also know is that he did not properly disclose that when asked during his Senate confirmation hearings in either the pre-filings and then during his actual testimony. We, so his crime, we don't, and, and I'm we not don't even going to that actually. I'm not even gonna call because it a crime. That's not true. I'm not even going to call it a crime. What yeah. we know is that he met with them, and what we also know is that he did not disclose it. This is why he voluntarily recused we himself. We don't know. And actually. yesterday, during the closed session, the Washington Post, Washington Post reports that uh, that Director Comey said that there was a third contact that was again undisclosed. He said he didn't know if there was he a third contact. No, he said that the Washington, no. Post, the Washington Post no. is reporting that he said Look, that there was a let's third be, contact. Can we just like let's drop the partisan crap he here himself. for a second? He didn't he recuse did, himself. He did, and I'm not. Reason. You know, I think it was why unwise. Decision. I think right. he caved to pressure. Is no, the no, truth. No, he recused himself if because you he knew. give us. I mean, let's just be totally real. Sure. Let's stop the innuendo we and the McCarthyism. Are. You and me. Let's do it. If you speak to the Russian ambassador at an event organized by the Obama administration, not acting in your capacity as a surrogate for the campaign, but as a U.S. senator, there is nothing wrong with that. That does not qualify as a campaign activity. It's not lobbying on behalf of Russia. It's totally non-sinister, and now people are claiming that that is enough that he should no, resign. No, so I heard you disclose that in your preamble. We don't know that those public events at the RNC were the limits of his contacts with Russia, and again, he should have disclosed it. So if nothing else, even if those contacts were not sinister, he should have disclosed Only, it, and he failed to. No, that, but that's, that's the problem. I'm not saying it's a crime, no, you're, but he should have disclosed you're it. You're actually wrong. No, because he, didn't he, he disclose needed them, to Tucker. No, so that he needed to disclose it <laughs> if he met with the Russians in his capacity right as a Trump campaign surrogate. But that was not the question he was he asked not. at his confirmation hearing. He was asked okay. at any course during the, at any time during the course of if last he year, took a did you meet with, with Vladimir Putin? Mm -hmm. It does not mean that he's working on behalf of the Russians. You're this right. is crazy. But say you did and you're impugning say the you reputation did that and explain of, why you did it. Okay. You're impugning the reputation of decent men for politics and it's wrong. Say why so then you know what if you met with them for totally innocuous purposes then say yes I did and this is why. What would the other you don't purpose? convene. What, what would the non innocuous purposes be? I don't know. Be? And that's the reason and it should have been up for question in front of the Senate committee the do, Judiciary do, Committee do, which confirmed do, him. Do, are you and familiar with the McCarthy era at all? I'm, I'm, I've read up on do it. I wasn't think, alive but I read up on it. Do you think that this moment is degrading our standards of justice? I, at all? I, I, I don't. You know what I think degrades Where we call people of, names because they talk to I, someone I, at a party? We call them a name. Of we course. Just we're saying you, we, Nancy no. Pelosi, who's some kind of leader you know, in your party, I, said he ought to resign <laughs> because of this. <laughs> She's the leader of the House. She's not just some kind of leader. She's a former he should speaker. resign over that? This is insane, actually. He did not disclose contacts with Russians when asked under oath, Tucker. That's, that's a problem. This is really Whether or not she did it for innocent purposes or not, he didn't disclose it. That's the problem. Thank you, Don. We're sitting through my last and final Russia segment. We say this every Always night. a pleasure, Tucker. Thank you, man. Thank you.